Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. Welcome to day four of the month machine 2012. In this video, we're going to look at how you can save your machine projects. Now, there are two ways that you can save your projects in machine. The first is really just like you would in any other application. You can go up to the menu then go file, save. Now here you can simply tell machine what the project is and save a new project file. Now the problem with this is that the project file does not actually contain all of the audio files that you're using. You can see down here I'm using an 808 kit, but it's not saving those files again. It's really just linking to those files that are on my hard drive. If you want to save a project with all of the audio files that you're using, I want to go back to the menu, then select File, Save Project with Samples. Now, when you save that project, it's actually going to create a copy of all the samples that you've used. And this can be for things like instruments or drums. This is really great if you want to send your project file to a friend that's using Machine, or if you want to back up a project that uses your own custom samples. Machine makes it really easy to find all the projects that you've previously created. You don't need to go through the hassle of searching your hard drive for them. If you go to the Projects tab, you'll see that there is an option for User. Click on that, and those are all of the projects that you've created and saved. If you want, you can go ahead and edit them. So simply select the project that you would like to edit, then click the Edit button on the bottom. Here you can assign it to different banks, assign a type, or even a subtype. If you want, you can also go in and add a new type, new subtype, or even a new bank. This is great if you want to categorize your projects. For example, if I think this is kind of like a rock track, I can simply select rock, then click apply. You'll see now that under the type, we now have the rock option. And if we click that, that will filter our results even more. So those are two ways that you can save your projects in Native Instruments Machine. Stay tuned for our next video on May 9th, where we look at how to navigate the user interface using the machine hardware. You can follow the Month of Machine 2012 on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And don't forget to visit thedjpodcast.com for more reviews, news, and how-tos.